Good morning, everyone. Hello. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a general collect, like a, the general collective energy reading right now. Okay, guys, I already did a Zen book reading, um, the little Zen book reading. There's an amazing quote in here that I did. So if you want to find that video on my TikTok, on my YouTube, and on my Instagram. Um, okay. And it's a really amazing quote, guys. Um, yeah. And uh, I didn't go into what I think the quote means, guys, all the way. Because I want to let people, you know, ponder and meditate on that and what it means to them. Right? But check out that little Zen book reading. And how is everyone today? I hope you're well. Um, I have my coffee here today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys, I did want to talk about something just briefly before I get in the reading. And I'll let you know, I have already done my protective prayers and blessings. I always have a candle lit uh, for the flame because I channel from the light. Um, angels, ancestors, spirit guides. Uh, ancestors are elders, right? I call, or uh, divine and galactic beings that, uh, you know, I call them our elders. And our ancestors. <laughs> um, I did want to talk about something, guys. Um, for safety reasons, I've had to go a little incognito on YouTube just to let people know. Um, I believe I have recovered control of my TikTok account, but I'm not 100% positive yet. So, but yay, progress. <laughs> um, and Ninja's here. I wanted to talk about something. So a lot of you guys saw this on my live one day when I was painting. Um, well, the day I was painting before that, what I did was I cleaned out um, Ninja's bed. Ninja is adopted. Hi, buddy. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, he, I cleaned out his bed because he is adopted. And this is his original bed that he came with. Well, not original, but from his third home. Aw, you're such a sweetie. But this is Ninja's fourth and final home. But I don't wash it in the washing machine. I don't clean it like that because of all the smells. I never wash it. So I cleaned it out before I put it up here for him. But with I cleaned it out really, really good. And I used some really strong tape. And I cleaned it really good for him. But it was really important to keep the smells there for him. Because his third home, his previous home, she wasn't a bad lady. She just couldn't handle him, and she didn't want him to go to a shelter. She didn't want him to get killed. So thank you, beautiful, beautiful third mama who watched over Ninja and got him safely to me. I love you. We love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. And that's why I don't wash his bed. <laughs> and I never will. Not this one. I'll clean it, but not wash it. Those smells, those memories are for him. <laughs> All right, let's get into this reading. Um, also, I do want to say a special coffee cheers. Cheers with coffee. <laughs> I, you know, technically we're not cheersing, which is good. <laughs> um, but um, I guess just a coffee hello then. Um, and I don't like feel like I should start this over, but I don't think I'm going to. Um... I guess just a coffee hello, because you're not supposed to cheers without alcohol. It's bad luck or something. So coffee hello um, to my fellow readers on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram. And those of you that are true and honest, I love you and I adore you still. And for safety reasons, I just had to go incognito. I just want to let everyone know that, okay? All right. Love you all. Let's get in this reading. Ninja's ready. So um, the readings on TikTok, guys, to let everybody know in the future, they will only be up to 10 minutes long. Um, sometimes I might edit them. Sometimes I might do the beginning and the middle part. Um, just depends on how much time I have. Um, if the reading goes longer than 10 minutes, um, then on Instagram or TikTok, you, uh, then I'll put a link um, so that you can watch the rest of the reading on YouTube. 
So please follow me on YouTube, guys. I'm getting so close to be able to going live there. Woo-wee. <laughs> so excited. Yay. <laughs> Um, so thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful for grateful for all of you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your follows. Thank you for subscriptions. Thank you for your hearts, your comments, your emojis, your likes. All of the hearts, um, the comments, the emojis, they all help uh, the messages get out more and help my uh, pages and channels grow. So I really appreciate all of you so much. And so does Minji. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And guys, um, I have some things I'm going to set up for Ninja. <laughs> this is really cool. Yeah, I'll be excited about it. Okay. So yeah, this reading is going to go longer. So if you're on TikTok or Instagram, watch the full reading on YouTube if any of this resonates. Okay. All right. Let's start with an angel card today. What angel card? What angel card for the collective energy today? Spirit, guides, angels, ancestors, and others. What angel card? What's the energy for the angel card today, Spirit? What angel card for the collective energy? Thank you so much. Ooh, that one wanted to pop out. Ah, angel of inner peace. Yes, look at me and ninjas. We are so zen. Um. <laughs> All right. Thank you, spirit. Awesome. It is a Sunday too. This is crinoline for uh, creativity. I've got a couple of those. Let's get, uh, for the general collective energy, I want to go to, and guys, this is black tourmaline for protection. Let's go with filling this deck that we love, right? If anyone's wondering what deck this is, it is Ancient Celtic Divination. Okay. May not say that on the box because of marketing, but it is ancient Celtic divination. I look at the bottom of the deck. So many friends, parties, socializing, maybe business stuff. Awesome. A lot of people want to work with you, hang out with you, smile, laugh. Love it. Um, I didn't remember what was on the bottom of the deck, guys, from last time I cleared the energy. So that's just beautiful. All right, so let's get the messages today. What do you have to say, Spirit? What are the messages today for the general collective energy? What do we need to know today? Who needs to, oh, look at this, yes. Awesome, divine feminine energy, beautifulness. Which, guys, that, it doesn't mean this is for um, a woman. Okay, that's for everybody, male or female. Maybe, hey, maybe if you're a very masculine energy, maybe you have a lot of ladies around lately. You're good women. But no, no, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just said that. Maybe a spiritual leader <laughs> has a lot of ladies. But whoever's watching this, you're very spiritual, very connected. And some sort of leader, healer. Yeah, the world card. Man, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Completion, new beginning. All right, what's the message today, Spirit? What's the message for today? What do you want to tell someone, Spirit? Or tell many? Angels, ancestors, elders, and spirit guides, thank you so much for your messages today. Cards are feeling a little thicker, guys. I'll try to shuffle them, so. Me and the collective are protected. Any ill will will be returned to sender. No weapons shall form against me in any way, shape, or form.
Strength card in reverse. Judgment card upright. Two of Swords. Someone is uh, lacking inner strength right now, or there is a negative Leo. I want to look up some specific wording with these again, guys, because there can be a lot of different meanings to these. There really can be a little bit. Um, I want to look up, I feel like, I feel like either someone's struggling to connect with universal consciousness and see the light, or they feel like they're uh, ascending uh, or not, you know, like they're judging others who are ascending maybe. Someone's protecting or not seeing something. Let me take a look. I just, there's some sort of wording that spirit wants me to get here. You guys, if this is a Leo energy in the collective, I feel like it's, they're sad. I feel like they're not balanced. If it is regarding a Leo, doesn't mean it's a bad person, okay? This means negative energy. Um, if 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 uh, a Leo, if like a sad Leo energy isn't resonated for someone around you, then what this means is that um, you're doubting yourself. Maybe you're lacking some inner strength. Maybe towards universal consciousness, but I don't I don't know. Let me see what they're trying to say here. Let's see. Judgment card is a major arcana, a very important message. Wow. Maybe this is your resurrection here. Like if someone's lacking inner strength before, maybe, or if you're feeling that way, then you definitely need to hear this message because this is upright. The day of judgment, which is also the day of resurrection, or the day of which the dead are judged, is a card that has hundreds of different versions in various decks, but the different versions all maintain the identical principles. A large angel flanked by clouds, blowing a trumpet which bears a banner with a cross. The dead are rising from their graves, a woman to the right, a man to the left and a child in the center with their backs facing us in the background there are more figures an additional family all the figures are raising their hands and faces in a movement which has an element of wonder and ecstasy towards the angel wow and in this one it's the plants the abundance see the plants raising up towards wow and i've already read this guys but I felt like reading it again today. <laughs> so here we go. Spirit wanted you to hear this. It is important to understand that this card is the fulfillment of the prayer in our hearts. Oh, renewed life, the resurrection, right? This a most important moment where the inner prayers are fulfilled through divine power. Wow. The trumpet which leads the angels, the symbol of the inner voice, which tries to reach up to God Almighty, and it pulls with it the rest of the human body. And at this point, I would like to say, guys, God in different cultures has different deities, okay? So that is up to you, what deity, how you wish to worship, or what based on your culture and your religion, right? Could be Buddha, could be Allah, could be God, could be Jesus Christ, you know, the prophet, people... Pray to could be Valhalla uh, or Valhalla. <laughs> Sorry if I said that wrong. <laughs> uh, um, it could be gods, goddesses, could be uh, God, Kali, you know. I mean, there is so many different uh, gods and goddesses out there, right? Uh, we're talking about positivity of the light. We're talking about good people that know that we are all connected, the circle of life. 
We are all connected, right? There's many different ways uh, Aboriginals believe, Native American tribes, but you know what? It's all the same. It's just God in different interpretations. So God Almighty, and it pulls with it the rest of the human body, mind, body, spirit. Understanding this process, recognizing the inner voice in what enables us to believe in internal life. In this sense, this card is similar to card number 14, the temperance. Wow, I forgot about that. I just got chills. Notice that in contrast with the card, the lovers, where the lovers have their backs to the king, in this card, the faces of the figures are facing upwards towards the angel, and it is as if they are drawn to the angel, while on the card of the lovers, the woman and the man are facing towards the ground. Wow. So I feel like if someone's doubting themselves, yeah, it's totally saying like, if you're doubting yourself, not having inner strength, then pray. And your prayers have been answered and you will be protected. Whoa, very deep reading, you guys. Wow. So now I almost get this vibe like spirits saying like, because I'm like, what's going on with the collective? Maybe people are feeling like they're not strong or maybe emotionally not strong sometimes or spiritually. And literally spirits saying that people prayed and people believe and believe in themselves, believe in the light, believe in ascension, and they're protecting Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Amazing reading. Very cool. Uh, also, so you guys can see this older card here, okay? This is the judgment card here. Okay, the image when they're talking about all those figures looking up. Some older uh, decks, the OG decks will have that imagery. On this one... See, this artist, uh, because the stylized basis of this, used plants instead of people. I love that. It's so beautiful. David Palladini, mm, I love you. He was from Italy. He ended up, he's an immigrant who ended up in Illinois. Then he went to art school, design school in Brooklyn, New York. Beautiful, David. Love these, love these, love this deck. So also I want to read more about the Two of Swords because we want to get exactly how this card is right, uh, protecting, right? And guys, this is going to be a long read. I love this read. I'm just going to go as long as Spirit wants me to today for this general collective read. Well, within 40 minutes, because <laughs> i got to do some other readings. Okay, Spirit, you got with up to 40 minutes. <laughs> okay, Two of Swords. But this is important stuff. Uh, all right here. Thank you all for your patience, and I feel it's very important to go back over things that I have learned in the past, sometimes especially when spirit prompts me to, um, because it's important, and remind everyone and myself you know, exactly what some of these cards mean, or what they were intended to mean. Uh, every reader, guys, is going to read differently because of their life experiences, because of how they learn, because of the decks they use, okay? So keep that in mind. It doesn't mean certain readers necessarily sometimes are not right. A lot Sometimes they're going with their intuition or they're going with different books or different decks they've learned off of. But it doesn't mean the reading is wrong all the time. But not every reading will resonate, right? So if this reading resonates, great. If this reading does not resonate, simply maybe just not a message for you today, okay? All right, but this message is for everybody. <laughs> two of Swords. The Two of Swords is a negative card. The eyes of the figure are blindfolded and the swords are difficult to balance. This is a person in a state of apathy due to his or her inability to decide. It is a very serious card. Wow. Um, also, guys, with this card, though, why I was saying you're protecting, okay? 
is because there is other things to this two of swords um, and those that are readers you know or those that are familiar with uh, divination um, and the reason why I call it divination guys these have Hebrew letters of the alphabet on it it is spiritual ancient Celtic divination all right two of swords and this is someone sometimes people can't see everything that's going on around them right that's why exactly said the inability to see her confusion um, that's why she's blindfolded in this card uh, but also the sword to up. She's protecting. Sometimes you can't see what, what you're protecting against, right? Or you're not sure, but you know you need to protect. So this is, in this deck, uh, this is what this card means in this deck. It means peaceful hiatus in an otherwise discordant situation. How beautiful. So we'll incorporate all of these together, okay? So someone who was lacking inner strength or maybe had a negative Leo around them, possibly causing problems. Okay. But I believe in this reading, it's about not believing in yourself all the way, feeling, maybe feeling like not sure what to do. And you prayed. And if you haven't, pray in your way. That can be going to nature, guys. That can be painting meditating you don't have to pray in the exact way okay that uh other religions tell you to or religions tell you to it's up to you it's up to the individual but how beautiful this person or you or you might be lacking in her strength but you know you know that things are going to be okay and you're praying and angels are helping you this is literally telling you guys angels are helping you angels are protecting you they are helping you. They're there. So believe in that. Don't feel weak anymore. Have strength. Okay? No, they are there. Yes, you might feel a little confused right now, but still protect. You're protecting, which is beautiful. Okay, so let's find out here, Collective, who this message is for. Why are you protecting? Who's protecting? Why are you protecting? Because angels are here helping, guys. Do not doubt that. This card is upright. Angels are here helping you. Yes, they are. You've got resurrection. From whatever this bullshit or doubt was that was causing you doubt, no more. You have risen, ascending to universal consciousness. Um, angels are with you. You are being very protected. You are protected, even if you're not sure where the hate or the toxicity is coming from. You are protected. You might not be able to see who they are, but you have a hiatus from this. You are protecting yourself. You're chilling, going, nope, nope, no more confusion, no more chaos. So tell me more, spirit. Tell me more for the general collection, collective energy. Ooh, a knight of pentacles. Hell yes. I love this, spirit. Yes. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more about that, spirit. Hell yeah. Tell me more. Yes. Then I'll look up. Yes. Spirit wants me to go with the book today. Not so much the uh, meaning in this uh, ancient Celtic divination deck. And the book, guys, is based on uh, Ro Romania. Rom uh, <sighs> some, uh, the book is kind of based on gypsy um, Romanian. Uh, philosophies with divination oh six of cups but it came out this way someone's thinking about the past or someone from the past is coming oh a lot of times these are messengers guys so is there a message about money something from the past mm hmm tell me more spirit oh a page of wands. Interesting. Came out sideways also. So they want me to read the negative and the positive of this. I know a page of wands uh, is also a beautiful. So sometimes page of wands are kind of <laughs> flaky, flighty, 
unpredictable, but it's a beautiful creative energy. So I feel like, I feel like, okay, before I look this up, guys, this is my intuition. Let's see how on I am. Let's see. Someone is, has a message for you from the past. They want to help you with money. Maybe you're going to work together um, or a message about giving you money or something. Um, there is someone from the past. Um, I feel like the reason why this isn't like this or like this is either you are thinking about them or they are thinking about you or you're both thinking about each other. Um, when this is like this, it's like too obsessed about the past and so not good. And this is someone thinking about you from the past in a very good and loving way. So for it coming out sideways, maybe have both, <laughs> maybe both, but you definitely have someone from the past who wants to message you or give you a message. And it might be regarding money because the pentacles, again, I'm going to look that up. Um, this might be specific message for a Sagittarius is this card represents Sagittarius, the page of wands this is so creative. This is also a younger, uh, energy, spiritually a younger energy, someone who is fun, creative, uh, likes to travel. So let me look this up real quick guys. And again, thank you for your patience. And yes, it's going to be a little bit longer message, but I want to make sure to get this message right or it's going to be a little bit longer recording so thank you and this angel of inner peace look how calm this reading's been so beautiful and the major arcana card here is judgment upright so beautiful i feel like this reading is for uh people in the collective who have, have been through so much recently and who have learned a lot that just came to mind, like someone who's really learned a lot. I feel like in a short amount of time. Sorry, guys, I used to have bookmark where the knights were in here. Um, there they are. And I need to do that again. My little bookmark fell out. Okay, here we go. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Uh, my intuition is exactly right. Um, new areas in the world of economic or material world. Yep. And I do feel like it's a messenger. The knights represent like messages. Oh, so also when a knight card. Um, wow, I, I forgot about this, guys. I'm See, it's all meant to be. When a knight card follows, especially a negative card, which, right, this is semi a negative card. I don't always take it that way sometimes, but it is negative because you feel like you're having to protect yourself from things. So because it followed a negative card, this knight is saying how to correct the situation, how to correct the situation. Ooh, so material and economic stuff is really important right now. Pay attention to your work, business, focus on that. Um, stop focusing on the past. That's what this is trying to tell you. Stop focusing on the past. I'm going to turn this up right now, collective. We cannot focus on the past anymore. Um, but just know there's someone thinking about you from the past. Some in a loving way, some not in a loving way. That's the truth. It came out sideways. So stop focusing on the past. No. Let's think about the past if you ever do in a loving, healing way. But let's let that go. It's not helping us. It's not serving us. Um, the page of wands sideways. Let's take a look at this really quick. Very creative energy, but also kind of a flighty, uh, unpredictable energy. Uh, very young. <laughs> I want to say like a youthful energy because it doesn't have to be age. This is very youthful energy, right? All right, here we go. So the page of wands. The page of wands corresponds to the astro astrological symbol of Sagittarius. Uh, I love this card, especially how it was made because it's very androgynous. Um, it doesn't represent 
at all like a masculine or feminine energy. It's just page of wands. <laughs> Very creative energy with this wand. Um, notice the three pyramids ap appearing in the horizon. So in this case, instead of pyramids, they put these, he put these beautiful um, willows back here. I can't remember the name of them, but I just, um, you know what I'm talking about, the plant. <laughs> I can't remember, sorry guys. But um, in the original one, see here, see the pyramids in the background? Okay, that's what they're talking about. So in this one, when the card is positive, the person seeks to expand his or her horizons to utilize their skills and talents. Ooh, when the card is negative, the person is fearful of the mysterious future and holds himself, his or his or herself back to the point of idleness. Aww. This card is primary influential for those whose astrological sign is Sagittarius or Libra. Wow, wow, wow. The very end there. Sagittarius or Libra. Okay, guys. So let's see in this specific deck what this card means because it came out sideways, right? Okay. And I'll show people again. Ancient Celtic divination. I know that's backwards, okay, but it just seems like a lot of people want to be fools, okay, for this deck that I'm using here, okay, all right, so the page of wands upright in this specific deck, a young man or woman bearer of messages, an envoy, Faithful lover may represent family intelligence. Reverse is what I was talking about, okay, earlier, guys, where there's indecision, instability. That's why I was talking about the flightiness, okay? It doesn't mean the person is not, because this is a faithful lover. The Page of Wands is a faithful lover and a very good friend. Uh, what I'm talking about with uh, being flighty, I wasn't meaning, you know, a cheater or being unstable. It just means they're flighty, like to travel. <laughs> but this means, if you get this card in this deck, it's bad news, indecision, instability when they're in the reverse. Well, this card came out like this. Um, so, yeah, it looks like to me, for real, someone from the past, or feels like to me, uh, spirit really wants you to focus on work economic and material things. This is good news coming. Um, stop focusing on the past, whether it's positive or negative, we got to stop looking at the past. Or maybe this creator, there's messages from the past. Ooh, maybe you're bringing messages from the past to light. Whoa, I just got chills. Whew. All right, collective. Maybe there is someone are many in the collective that are bringing messages from the past. But I also feel that like you're holding yourself back in a little bit of way because you're doubting yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Your angels are here. You are protected. I really believe this is saying stop doubting yourself. Stop this. Don't doubt yourself anymore. We got to be like this, strong, inner strength, believe in yourself. You got this. Angels are helping you. You are ascending. Yes, you may feel like a little confusion right now, if some of you do, but you are protected, highly protected. And you're taking a break from this bullshit, or you did, which is good. Take time to recuperate. Take time to regenerate. That's fine. But now it's time to get back to work. <laughs> Economic, business affairs, uh, maybe someone wants to give you something or messages regarding that from the past. Or maybe this creative page of wands is bringing messages from the past. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, so I know that was a lot for just a few amount of cards. But for some reason, I really, guys, I really, really, really fucking feel like a lot of people needed to hear that shit. <laughs> I just do. All right. 
Very cool. All right, what else, Spirit? One last pull is what I have time for. And thank you for the messages today. They're absolutely beautiful. What else today, Spirit? What other message for the general collective energy? Anyone watching my TikTok, YouTube, especially YouTube, Instagram. Oh, the star card. Oh, how beautiful you are. Such a star. I also believe uh, I'm going to look up this book or this meaning in this deck. Uh, Spirit really wants to. I mean, the meaning in the both. Spirit wants me to. Major Arcana Star Card. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm not going to read the whole thing because I know what this card is, but um, this figure represents youth and beauty, but not necessarily physical beauty, you guys. Uh, the nakedness in the original cards of the female figure reflects pure truth and innocence, and that's what makes you a star. Oh, your, your, your pure truth and innocence. That's what makes people a star. That's what lights up the world. That's where people, there's no sun in this card. It's a giant star in the sky because you shine so fucking bright. You bring light. You light up a room. You light up the world. How beautiful. Your youth and beauty, and that means spiritual beauty, guys. Your energy, your energy, right? Your vibe. Fucking awesome. Hell yeah. And I don't doubt this at all. I have the coolest, coolest TikTok friends. I have the coolest YouTube subscribers. I have the coolest Instagram friends. That does not, I don't doubt this at all. Keep on shining. Hell yeah. I'm not going to go all into this because a lot of people know the star card, but you are the motherfucking star. How beautiful your energy, your vibe just lights up a room. What else, spirit? You have anything else to say? I've got like two minutes left. <laughs> Thank you for these messages today. Angels, ancestors, elders, spirit guides, we appreciate you so much. Thank you for protecting us, all you angels up there. And earth angels, here too. Anything else for the collective message today? Oh, Someone is feeling sad, anxiety, sleepless nights. What are they worried about? What are they worried about? Oh. They're worried maybe about a Sagittarius or maybe worried they're not being an earth angel. Whoa. This is also a card of healing, patience. What are they? What else, Spirit? What else? What else is this? Oh. They're not talking to someone. Maybe you're not talking to someone. This has other meaning. I'm going to look this up. Okay, guys, this is going to go a little longer than 40 minutes. Spirit had a message for someone specific. This may not be a message for everybody, right, guys, for who this resonates for. You're feeling sadness, anxiety, stressed out. With this card in the reverse, I feel like you need to heal. You need to have more patience. Maybe you're sad about a Sagittarius or, or sad that you're not healing. You're not talking to someone. I'm going to look this up, but tell me more spirit. Oh, this person is sad because a relationship or a marriage or a home life situation, partnership didn't work out and you're not talking to them. What else, Spirit? What else did you want to say? Very heavy Sagittarius uh, energy in this read, guys. I'm not joking. And Leo, very heavy fire sign. Air, air energy too, air. A little bit of earth, but... What else did you, what did you want to tell this person, Spirit, about why did this relationship not work out? Why did this relationship not work out? So there's a reverse Queen of Cups. Something about a feminine energy, guys, was not loving. 
water energy. It doesn't have to be a water sign, guys. It's just this, this, the relationship, whoever this is for, your relationship didn't work out because they weren't loving, they weren't nurturing, they weren't sharing. They were very negative, very toxic, feminine energy. Damn. Tell me more, Spirit. What do you want to tell this person? What do you want to tell this person? What else? What else? Aww. You walked away. You walked away from an because of an empress. Or maybe you're going towards an empress? Maybe you walked away because you're in the empress energy. You're like, fuck all this. Let me see something here real quick. This is an important message. Yeah, you absolutely withdrew from the situation. You're just sick of it. And look what came out. So this card is someone, I feel like, trying to heal and not having patience. And you're not talking to someone. And there's blockages in a marriage or relationship. Maybe because you shine so fucking bright. Maybe because you shine so bright, this little negative motherfucker, whoever this feminine energy is in your guys' life, right, this negative female, what the f I don't get a good energy off this guy. It's really bad. They fucked with your relationship hardcore in your marriage, or they're that negative entity in your relationship or your past relationship. But yeah, this is not good. Not working out. Something's off. And it doesn't mean, guys, all the time the relationship's over. Sometimes this can mean spirits warning people like, this person is being really fucking negative. And this specific card is a Scorpio, um, but it is a feminine water sign. Um, doesn't, this is only, the water sign thing will only resonate for a few people. I just bring that up for certain people. That doesn't mean it has to be a water sign, guys. It's going to resonate different for everybody, right? Um, but it looks like you walked away from this bullshit. That's what came out next, okay? Because there is an empress. There's an empress waiting. And if there's not an empress waiting, or maybe you're in your, the empress energy, okay? That's going to resonate different. For some of you, there's an empress coming. And she is a fucking badass. She will kick this negative bullshit queen's ass. I'm not joking. There is no comparison. No comparison to these two energies, guys. Uh, so if you feel like you've been down in the dumps and really negative, this could represent you. But now you're coming into the empress energy. But if you're someone who is into women sexually... This is representing a negative feminine in your life. And it doesn't always have to be a lover, guys. This could be a mother. This could be a sister. This could be a friend. Okay. This could be an ex-lover, you know. But something about the relationship there, what, whoever they are in your life, okay, it's not working out. And they're fucking toxic. And you want away from that situation. You're like, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> and I want the empress. An empress energy who's balanced, feminine energy, calming, very balanced, can incorporate all the sword or sword, <laughs> all the queen energy, right? Whether you're masculine or feminine this lifetime, uh, dominantly, doesn't matter. This card can be for a man or for a woman. So spirit's telling you, get in that empress energy or don't worry about this. If a relationship did end, don't worry about it. Nope walking away for some of you because you want an empress. You don't want someone who's so negative and drags everybody down. It causes problems. It causes drama. 
He tries to hurt other people. Ooh, guys, this person, whoever this is for, I'm getting this vibe now. I'm not joking. They try to hurt others. They try to attack others. See all these symbols? These are cups of emotion. These are cups of flowers, abundance, love, beauty. But in reverse, no. This energy wants to drain people, hates on people, negative. They're the type of person we use to. So if, let's say, something happens, um, my spirit wanted to get me to give an example. Like they argue about everything. Like if you're trying to tell them maybe about an experience or like your emotions, they're very cold. They're like, well, why'd you do that? Well, you created that problem. I don't know. No empathy. That's what spirit's trying to tell. No empathy. Wow. Ugh, negative. You want an empress. You want a positive. Cheer you on. You are amazing. You are sexy AF. You are amazing like you can do it you got this you are so money you are smart you're intelligent you're funny and you are you are and uh if you're waiting for this energy to come in your life uh it's coming okay now divination ancient celtic divination readings or tarot however you'd like to phrase that right doesn't have a time frame necessarily all the time guys this may not be in two days or two weeks Sometimes it takes time, okay? But forever, this may, you know, this reading is for you want to fucking walk away from this bullshit negative energy and this relationship that's not working out. Is you want to go towards an empress. Absolutely beautiful. Love that. Remember, you are the star. The card came up for you. <laughs> so, fuck those negative Nancys. <laughs> I love that term now. I used to get offended when people call me a negative Nancy, but now that I'm being more positive. <laughs> and by the way, I mean guys like four years ago. I'm talking about like four years ago. All right. So back to the reading. Okay. What I said one more pool spirit. I know, but you just keep wanting me to read. What do you want to tell this person? This person that is having sleepless nights, anxiety, confused, hurting. Maybe they're trying to heal and they can't. Because there's negative motherfuckers around them. Spirit wants you to get those negative people away from you. Doesn't mean you have to be rude or ghost them. But, I mean, sometimes, guys, we do have to not talk to people anymore. But let them know why. You don't just ghost somebody. That is abuse. Tell them why. If they can't accept it, oh well. I know, guys, it's hard to toughen up, right? Ooh, death card in reverse when I was talking about that. Fascinating. Spirits tell me in this deck exactly. And I know the death card, but uh, in the reverse, I want to look again. Yeah. So there's some stagnation here. Tendency to lethargy. Spirit is warning you. You will not get the Empress and you will not have the Empress energy if you don't get to work. Also be careful what you're putting in your body. Um, just mind, body, spirit, balance, okay? So they're saying someone's being lethargic. And when I take that, that is someone's having health issues possibly um, or being caused by too much medication or substances being put in your body. Could be drugs, could be alcohol. Um, this could be talking about someone around you. This could be talking about the people you keep around you, your family or friends. This, maybe even co-workers sometimes, guys, or the environment you work in. Spirit's warning, okay? Saying be careful of lethargy. Also could mean depression. Someone's depressed, sleeping too much. Uh, lethargy also, guys, you know, I struggle with this. I love eating. <laughs> I do self-medicate sometimes through eating. So lethargy can mean that too, you know? And I'm curvilicious, guys. Like, I'm not judging anyone. I'm not talking smack. Um, I have doctor's orders to work on my health and lose a little bit of weight, but I will always be curvy, always, <laughs> but um, I need to lose like 15, 20 pounds to be healthy and get my heart healthy again. So keep in mind, guys, it doesn't always have to be drugs or alcohol. Lethargy can mean, you know, too, like depression or um, 
you know, eating too much, like medicating ourselves through addictions. All right. And I love you all. <laughs> we are all beautiful no matter what shape or size we come in. Some people will never be skinny minis. I won't be. Oh, seven of pentacles. It's coming. Good fortune. Good fortune. Okay, so money is coming, okay? It's coming. Okay, love this. Beautiful. Also, guys, uh, learned something recently. Geese are very protective. So I feel like this person's protecting their money. If people take this as a duck in here, ducks are very loyal. Ducks are about marriage, actually. So we don't have to say marriage nowadays. Um, ducks are about relationships. Be very loyal in your relationships. This will bring you good fortune. Beautiful. What else, Spirit? What can help this person? What's coming up? Let's look forward. Yay. <laughs> Thank you for these messages today, Spirit Guide Angels and Ancestors. I appreciate you so much. Beautiful reading. Oh, a page of pentacles in reverse. What's the message there? Okay. So money's coming up. Okay. Money's going to get better. What are you trying to tell with this reverse page of pentacles? Oh. Oh. Friendships, collaborations. So I'm going to flip over. Oh, two of cups, love in the reverse. Oh. But that doesn't necessarily mean what it means here. Oh, this is all under the Empress card popping up, guys. Spirit's trying to help you get the Empress. <laughs> I'm not joking. Spirit's trying to help. If you're feeling this, the Empress is you, okay? Empress energy. Spirit's trying to help you get that, keep that. And if you feel like the Empress represents a feminine you want in your life for love, Spirit's trying to tell you right now how to get that, okay? I'm not joking. So keep your money good. Be loyal in all your relationships, work, friends, and you. This is good fortune coming. It really is. This is growing. See how it's on this tree? It's growing, 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 growing. Your money is growing, 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 growing. Collective, it's coming up. Okay? And then... Page of Pentacles in reverse. See, notice how I'm going back to like the deck deck. Uh, I just, that's what spirit's telling me to do. My intuition, my spirit guide, uh, my Holy Ghost, however people want to refer to it, right? The energy or what's coming up, you know, I can feel it. So we're going to go back to Page of Pentacles in reverse in this specific deck. Oh, rebellion. You're a little rebel. I like that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you are a rebel. You prodigy. Ooh. Be careful though, okay? Sometimes this can indicate a little bit of unfavorable news. Maybe possibly about a friend or a friend group. Be careful. Um, I love that you're a rebel. I love that you're a prodigy. I think maybe someone in your friend group is jealous. But people do want to be your friend. They want to collaborate. But someone's watching you. Hmm. See her here. She's watching you. Hmm. So there might be unfavorable news about a friend or a friend group. Spirit's trying to help you keep the empress careful of your friends and family. Spirit just told me family. Careful of your friends and family and who you're hanging out with, how much you're drinking. This is positive, though. It didn't come out this way. But be careful. There might be someone hiding in your friends. That isn't good. But this means, see these yellow roses, okay? This means friendship, joy, love, happiness. But in Victorian times, it also meant jealousy. So Spirit's just telling you, like, you are amazing. But someone might be jealous. And it might be hiding, pretending to be your friend. Wow, okay. And then what's this reverse two of cups? What does this mean in this deck? Because this is the card for love. We want to see it normally this way, but it came out this way. Someone jealous of your love. Someone jealous of who you're in love with. Maybe that negative reverse queen of cups. She's trying to cause fucking bullshit in the collective. Mm -hmm. 
And like I said, guys, it doesn't have to be a water sign. It doesn't have to be a Scorpio. It's just a reverse Queen of Cups causing issues. Yeah. Disharmony, jealousy, false love. Man. See, and this is covering the Empress right here, guys. This Empress is popping out up here. If you can see it a little bit, okay. This is what's covering, what's causing you to not have the Empress energy constantly or to not get the Empress because of this jealousy, false love. Damn, man. What else collect? I feel like I got to keep reading, guys. We're almost to an hour. I got to stop soon. One more pool, Spirit. I know this is important. What can help? What can help? Focus on your money. Spirit so keeps saying, focus on yourself. What else do you want us to know, Spirit, today? Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I got to read all these. You may feel broke or put out, or maybe you had to put someone out. This may affect your money, okay? It might. But you feel like you have to defend. You have to defend. And you feel like, um, so all these people around you. See, upright have inner strength and you will conquer. Let's see what this message is here. It's a nine of wands. I can't remember in reverse, guys. But it's really important. I can feel it in this specific deck right now. Mm, okay. So, yes, you feel like maybe, you know, you were put out or uh, not feeling the best maybe about money or feeling rejected or dejected possibly. Or maybe you put someone out. Maybe you're like, no, I'm walking away. So remember that eight of cups? Um, you have obstacles and adversity in your life. Yes, but you're going to conquer that because of your inner strength. You're going to conquer that. This is talking about adversities, obstacles, okay? Might be regarding money, but your money's going to get better. Spirit told you your money's going to get better. Focus on that. Be loyal in your relationships. This is fucking amazing. Midas touch, okay? Everything you touch turns to gold. As long as you stay positive and you focus on the good things. Don't look at these negative cups in here. Don't look at this negative toxic shit. Let's go. Let's go. Focus on what's important. Focus on those positive people, positive things in your life. Let's focus on what you can do. Don't focus on what you can't do because everything you touch turns to gold. Everything. This golden glove, everything you touch turns to gold. It's right here, right here. Look up, look up. <laughs> oh, because you got a new business, new creative businesses, new creative alliances. Business, study, research. This can be school also. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Also, guys, I love this right here. This learning wisdom. Learn, 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 learn what you need to have joy, happiness in your abundance in your new businesses or where you work. You don't always have to do your own business where you work. Let's go. Yes. And nine of cups, happiness, joy, fulfillment, material success as well brings you happiness. Because guys, no, we don't always want to focus just on money, but money is important to bring happiness. And then as us good people get money, we can help others. Oh, beautiful spirit. Thank you so much, angels, guides, and ancestors. I was meant to be. I love you all. Have a beautiful day. That's the general collective energy reading today. Thanks for your patience with me on the cards. But I, the messages were so important. And thank you so much, guys. I love you all. Have a beautiful day. And I'm going to go ahead and do love readings now for Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. I just feel like so many in the collective have been through so much. Let's bring some love and light and, and the name April. <laughs> means Aphrodite in Latin. Let's bring some love. Let's manifest some love. <laughs> All right, everyone. You have a beautiful day. I love you very much. Stay positive. You got this. Let's go, collective. <laughs>